What up, guys? Today's a day, another weigh in, another week down. This is going to be my fourth week um, of dieting, my third week of weighing in on camera, but overall, fourth week of dieting. Um, I started off at 310 pounds. Uh, first week, I dropped seven. All the way to three, all the way to three o three. When I weighed in with you guys, um, then I dropped, I believe, to two ninety nine. I dropped four pounds the third week, and then I went to two, yeah, two ninety nine. Then I went to two ninety five. So um, yeah, then I went to two ninety five. Dropped another four pounds. Shit, I guess four pounds have been my my thing, and um, and yeah, and then. So overall, I've dropped 15 pounds in in the past three weeks. And like I said, this is my fourth week. This is my fourth week dieting, but third one on camera. So um, in, in three weeks, I've dropped 15 pounds, basically five, five pounds, average of five pounds, where the first one was actually seven, and then I dropped four and four. But overall, man, feeling good, down to 295 pounds, been sticking to it like crazy. Um, then, you know, the process has been hard because you want the results and you're hungry and you're tired and you're sore, but I know the reward is so much higher and the man that I'm creating right now through all this hardship, which I'm going to call it hardship of dieting and waking up every morning, which I shouldn't call it that, but all this pressure that I'm applying, all this sacrifice I'm applying, all this discipline, it's hard, man. And who wouldn't just want the results to be easy? Who who wouldn't just want to step on the scale or look in the mirror and damn, we look good. But this shit is earned. It's not given. You can't pay for it. And that's what makes it so much more valuable, man. It makes you so much more valuable as a man. It creates such value in your heart and value in your mind that no one can take away, man. Once you get your goal, your fitness goal, no one can take that away, man. They could strip material objects away, but the man that this journey has created, they can never take because that was embedded in us, in our body and in our mind. And we had to earn that every single day with every meal, every sweat, every workout, every sacrifice, every early morning, every late night, it was earned, man. 24 seven and no one can ever take that away. So. I'm super excited for the journey, man. Even though I know the journey's long, the journey's hard, I have goals to reach. I'm super excited for the journey, man. So let's weigh in. 295 last week, 15 pounds in three weeks. Let's see where I'm at, guys. Like I always say, man, here's our nemesis right here. The good old scale, the good old scale. So I forgot, I turned it on, I started filming. But I have to put it down because if I weigh in with the phone, this is this phone's probably like a pound or two. So we're gonna put the phone down. Here it is, 290. Got my boxers and my socks. That's probably 0.3. So 290 on the dot, guys. 290 on the dot. Crazy man. Um, officially four weeks, and I'm officially down 20 pounds. Insane. Insane, honestly, I'm in shock. I can't believe that I've lost 20 pounds already in four weeks, but the grind has been real, the diet has been real, the cardio has been real, the burpees have been real, everything's been real and I've been feeling it. And I know I've been pushing my body and doing everything I can. I've been doing honestly whatever it takes to get here right now. And I can see the changes in my body, in my face, everything, in my attitude, and my, um, Man, in everything, I want to, yeah, my attitude, you know, of when I was eating bad and eating fast food and just going down the wrong path, my attitude was way more negative. I feel way more positive, man, just because I feel better, man, less inflamed, less tired, just overall feeling like a new man already. So I'm excited for the journey, 20 pounds down, 310 to 290 already, already into the 290s. So next week, we're going to break into the 280s, so. 20 pounds in four weeks. It feels amazing. You guys can do it too. I hope you guys are on, on this journey as well. We all want to make ourselves look better. We all probably could lose a few pounds. You know, some of the people are blessed out there that need to gain weight, you know, and I know that can be a struggle too. 
I can't always relate to that. I have in the past when I played sports and I was trying to gain muscle. But I mean, the later part of my life has always just been, how can I lose weight? Fighting the battle of trying to lose weight and stay in shape. That's always been my battle. And that's what it is right now. And, you know, it comes down to the journey and it comes down to the discipline and sacrifice. There's no easy route, guys. You guys got to want it more than any more than your family more than your kids more than your wife your girlfriend more than anything more than me i want it for you more than me more than everyone you got to want it for yourself guys that's the only way you guys are gonna see that change so you can do it i believe in you i hope these videos are keeping you accountable every single week i mean you guys keep me accountable i don't want to do a video and put out a video and you know i weigh more than what i did last week that being i don't want to say that'd be embarrassing but it's happened to me before, you know, but um, I don't want to do that. You know, I, I want to show you guys that there's progress and, um, you know, not all progress is progress. You know, you could be moving forward, but not not going in the right direction. So we also want to go in the right direction and move forward in the right direction always. Um, but yeah, I'll check in with you guys. I'm going to get a little pump on. It's my second workout of the day. This morning I hit 100 burpees. 200 push-ups, 200 curls, and I also hit 20 minutes of stair climber. Right now, um, I had some time, so I'm going to hit another workout, man. I'm going to hit some, I think, some back arms, and then maybe end it with some shoulders and just get a nice pump on. Uh, so, yeah, let's get it. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I love you guys out there. You guys can do it, man. All I know is if I can do it, you guys can do it. You know... I've been to the bottom of the bottom. I've experienced the lows. I've experienced the highs, you know, and um, there's a there's a better way. There's another way. I've probably dealt with every type of backslide you can have, whether it's been alcohol, drugs, partying, women, you know, overweight, going to prison, broken families, broken relationships. You know, I've dealt through I dealt with all those, man. I've dealt with every single one and I overcame and I'm still becoming that better man. 100%. And that man that going through all those trials and tribulations have built me to be this man where I'm at right now. And I'm so blessed. And by the strength of God, we're still here. We're still working and we're still becoming that new person, new man. And you guys can do it too. It's just the fight. Don't stop the fight. Don't stop grinding. Um, I love you guys out there. So don't stop fighting, man. There's someone out there watching. There's someone out there that needs you. So keep going, baby. Keep freaking going. I'm about to get this money. All right, let's go. What's cracking? Another day, another day. Wait in today, guys. Wait in today. 290, 290 pounds. Started off at 310. 290 pounds, man. Second workout of the day. Feeling good. Um, like I said, I clocked in. You guys seen the video this morning I posted. Um, we'll shoot on the same video. You guys seen the video. Um, but yeah, 290 pounds down, 20 pounds in four weeks. So feeling really good. We're going to keep it up. Can't wait to see where I'm at um, soon. And like I said, it's probably the biggest, you know, size wise that I've been with getting uh, tapering down. So feeling really good and that's because of um, the heavy lifting man last time I cut down to 265 I wasn't lifting only hitting cardio um, you know maybe lifting one time a week right now I'm lifting about four days I because I, now I'm lifting on Saturdays but a lighter day on Saturdays but I am lifting four days four days a week keeping that real size and strength on me right now so that's been the key to keeping my muscle math mu muscle math mass shoot um when last time i was just doing pure cardio so anyways let's get this money and one of the main things because my calories are low my energies get a little lower i gotta supplement i gotta have the dead game number one pre-workout right here this is gonna get me on a sick one like i said it wasn't it's not an excuse and i should have made time or i should have had my meal ready but i was super busy i hit my burpees this morning um straight from burpees i had some zoom calls then um yeah then i went home showered and came here so just didn't have any time to grub a meal i got some cream of uh 
rice, not cream of wheat, cream of rice. I ate, I think like a half cup raw. So I think it's maybe like 200 and something calories. But I know they always say the rice, like a rice crispy and, and rice will spike your insulin level. So you'll be able to get a sicker workout, better pump. So that's why I did that. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get some cream of, uh, cream of rice in me real quick. Took me like literally a minute and 30 seconds to make. And I grubbed that down just plain. And now I'm here taking my dead game. Taking my dead game right now. Get it at strengthcartel.com. And I gotta get a pump on. That cream of rice is gonna give me a sick pump, hopefully. And I'm gonna have my time to bleed. Get me on a sick ass one right here too, baby. Sick pump time, sick ass pump. We got bench today, we got dumbbells today, we got flies today. We gonna get it in today, so gotta have the time to bleed. Let's go. And another big thing to keep my size during my cut and my strength, we gotta have the heavy hitter creatine right here. It's mandatory, man. Do not sleep on the creatine. I'm telling you, creatine is going to be your best friend, man, when you're cutting or if you want to get strength or you want to get size. So, go. You see a dead game 2.0? Everything always available at strengthcartel.com. Tom Guetta said it because Guetta is the only one that doesn't have a code for you to go to get it. So, just use one of these other guys' codes. <laughs> yeah, I felt that one. Time to bleed. Available at shrinkcartel.com. What to set it. Mm. <laughs> you see it, heavy hitter creatine. So, right, about to get that dead game 2.0. Got my favorite flavor, candy grape. So, about to hit this bench press session with everybody so let's get it <sighs> all right we took the dead game now we're gonna take time to bleed get that sick pump today mm -hmm. so, let's get it what about you seven pass that over here man i want some time to bleed mm -hmm. make sure you guys go get yours at strengthcartel.com
progress, that's good, man. You know, we always want to progress, move forward, have change, positive change. Warming up, I like to hit two sets of everything. You know, your chest is one of those muscles that if you, you know, I've strained my pec a bunch of times, both time, both sides, multiple times. You know, football, doing the rep competition, going heavy, maxing out, high reps, photo presses. I mean, I've strained both pecs multiple times, but luckily not complete tears. But the chest, if you freaking tear that shit completely off the bone, you know, I'm not gonna say your career's over, but you're gonna put a big halt to it. You'll never be the same, put it that way, man. So when it comes to bench press, when it comes to hitting chest, especially compound movements where you're stacking weight, make sure you guys warm up, man. You wanna warm up a lot, as much as you can. Get the blood flow, get your body going, get the movement down, get the repetitions, get the form. Everything has to be dialed in. There's so many people that, you know, bust their chest and it's kind of no coming back from that shit. You can still bench, but you'll never be at peak performance or be able to hit your peak. So always warm up, give it time, do the right warm ups for chest, man. Really get your body moving. So anyways, we got 275 on the bar and uh, yeah, shit, that's 15 pounds away. I'm 290, I'm almost at my body weight already, man. Crazy, I'm not even a three plater no, I'm not even three plates no more, you know what I mean? Not even 315 no more, so. Anyways, yeah, we, we wanna make sure we get a warm up. Always a good warm up. And I was trying to say earlier, I still don't know the correct, uh, the correct lingo or the correct word, but you guys can be moving. We all move, we can go move, we can move left, we can move right, front, back, we could be moving on the stair climber, on the treadmill, we can all be moving, but it doesn't mean all movement is progress, you know? Progress is going forward. We wanna move progressively forward at all times, man. So we can look like we're moving around and we're staying busy and we're doing all this BS, but if it's not helping our life, then that's not progress, man. We all want progress. So let's keep it moving. Progress, forward, never looking back. Remember, we wanna live present future. That's all we wanna live. We don't wanna live this present past type of life looking in the rear view mirror. When we drive, we don't look in the rear view mirror, we look to the front windshield so we can see what's coming. When we look to the rear, we're gonna miss everything. We may see, you know, beautiful structure, beautiful woman, you know, nature. I don't know, we may miss a car, you know, we may crash. So we wanna keep looking forward, don't look in the past, man. So make sure you guys are moving forward with progress at all times.
bench press. Maybe dumbbells I can go a little heavier when we get on floor presses because I'll have some restraint on my elbows. Um, I'm not gonna be, go, be able to go past a certain point, but on bench, we can still go down low. I've been hitting, like I said, over three weeks straight of burpees every single day. So my chest is sore and it's not the smartest thing to max out. You know, after, after, shoot, after I'm done doing burpees every day, maybe I never will stop, I have no clue. Then I'll get back to lifting a little bit heavier or trying to go for more max rep, more max weight with more repetition. But right now, I gotta kinda keep it where it's at so I can keep my pec safe. Like I said, we don't wanna tear. But I'm gonna bang on five sets of 10. We're still gonna get 50 reps of 315. That's a lot, a lot of volume. It's really gonna build your chest up, man. So that's what we got going right now. And uh, feeling good, man. Feeling good, feeling hype, feeling good off the dead game. Time to bleed, creatine, all that, man. So it's definitely been keeping me going through the deficit, through the weight cut right now. And you guys can do it too. You know, get all this up, strengthcartel.com. Next weight that we're going up to.
Thank <laughs> you.